Well, this is a different grill. That's because it's attached to this tractor. So this is a very early 1961 Cub Kit original. Picked this guy up a couple months ago and put it away and haven't really messed with it yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. So this one is serial number 4903, which puts it in March of 1961. So it's like the second month of production or third, whatever. So aside from being a low serial number tractor, this one is also cool because it has a pull start. It doesn't have a starter generator as you typically see on a Cub Cadet. So this one needs a few things. First, well, it doesn't run. And another is that the pull start doesn't do anything. It recoils, but it doesn't actually engage in the uh, pulley there. Luckily enough though, they have a solid pulley on the front, so we can just wrap a rope on that to see if we can get it running today. So, under the hood, you notice there's a battery compartment, but there's very little to no wiring. That's because you don't need wiring on a pull start. The only uh, wire that you have goes to the magneto to ground that out. So in the meantime of owning this, I did go through and get the parts I'm going to need to get this thing going, hopefully. So the first thing I did, I got another tank because the one on it is pretty rough inside. Not saying I won't come back to it and clean it up somehow, but I want to get it running, so I got another tank in that box. I have pulled it over and I don't think I had spark, but I did find my spark checker I was looking for. First and foremost, let's check the oil. It's a little low, but clean. Very clean. I did get another carburetor to throw on it for the meantime. Just one of those cheap little Chinese ones. I just want to see if it's running, and then once it's running, I'll know I can clean this one. If it doesn't run then, I'll know I've messed up that one or something. So let's jump right into this thing. I'm gonna sit you guys up. We're gonna check for spark one more time to see if we're gonna mess with the points or not. All right, so we got a uh, rope tied to it. Let me know if you see spark. I'm gonna try that one more time. I think I had the key switch in the wrong spot. So let's see. So I'm gonna say no on the spark, so is to prepare ourselves to dive into the points. All right, got you guys set up here. Let's see. One thing that might be giving us trouble. Where is that there? Let me call it on. Oh, wire, that's probably not good to tuck on. Is they got these starter button things or uh, shut off buttons? So when you push it, it breaks like that, I guess. <laughs> now, when you push it, it's supposed to uh, kill the engine. So I think I just broke it to uh, go about fixing that. So let's give these points a, uh, a metering. Maybe you'll be able to see that. Let's see. Like that, and we'll go to ground. Yeah, you can see a better. They're not too bad. Let me give them a quick little sanding. I wonder if that cover is giving us issues. We got us a quick little piece of 220 grit sandpaper and we'll just uh, sneak that in here.
zero point. That should be fine. Let's uh, give it a test again. All right, let's try without the points cover on and see what happens. Ready? Nothing. So I sanded them a bit more just to be sure. Let's try it again. If not, we're gonna put new points in it. All right, let's try this again. I saw a spark. So with that being said, let's pop the uh, oil bath air cleaner off, that whole assembly, because we have to change the carb anyways. And we'll uh, give her a little hit of ether and see what she does. So this is my first time ever messing with an original, so hopefully I uh, don't mess up anything. So let's pop the bottom of this uh, oil bath cleaner off. It feels like it's full. Oh yeah, it's gross. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, it's full of water. That's always nice. Look at that. Yum. So we'll have to clean that whole thing up. So I'll let that thing drip for a minute and then uh, we'll proceed to take it off. So it's been dripping for a few minutes. I have a uh, plate that will set it on. Here we take that off, and then I guess in the two bolts there. Strip these out. Alright, and yeah, the inside of that carburetor ain't so pretty. I'm hoping the fuel line doesn't look the same way. If not, we'll be putting a rubber line on it for now. I'd like to keep the tractor as correct as possible, but to get it going, I'm gonna have to do some other stuff. Just to see what I'm talking about. Pretty nasty. Flip that down. Well, let's see if it'll pop on some ether. All right, let's give her a little hit here. Hopefully it'll do something. Let's see. Will it start? <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound promising. Let's try again. A little choke, maybe? Give it some throttle. Let's see, attempt two. You're not getting anything out of it. Let me take a look at the spark plug real quick. I feel like something might be uh, messed up with that potentially. I know it's been sitting for a while, but I don't know exactly how long. Terrible. Focus on that. Pretty clean, actually. 
All right, so I'm gonna go right for the ether down the plug hole. Hopefully this does it. Here we go. Nothing. There's some more right in here. Turn off the light, we're gonna spray her one more time and hopefully we can get a good see if we got spark again. Not sure what's going on. Just sand at the points again and metered them and they're still good. So not sure. So, try it one more time. Here we go. I saw a spark on there. Let's keep trying this. I might have to get a longer rope so I get a little bit more uh, pull. Try again. Ready? So, I heard a little boom there. It did something. I smell something. Definitely hit that time. Alright, put a longer pull cord on there. Try this again. Alright, so some weeks later, it's been a while. Put this on the back burner for a little bit. So it seems like uh, spark is sufficient. I just uh, checked it again here. I wrapped a belt on it and put a pulley with a bolt through it and a drill and cranked it with that and I had spark pretty continuously so I would say spark is good so I'm gonna go ahead and do all the fuel system and then actually put gas in it and crank it over as if we were trying to actually start it which I guess we kind of are so I got a tractor show coming up so I would like to kind of get this one up there and maybe freshen it up a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that exactly, but we shall see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to uh, getting the pull starter fixed in this or in time for the show, but I can always rope start it off the front pulley. That's fine by me. It's mostly just drive it in on one day and drive it back out a couple days later. So in addition to the tank that's not all roasted, I got oh, a box in a box. And this should be a new sediment bowl. So we got one of those. And then in this one, we have a new carburetor as well, just for now. I mentioned before, I'd like to keep this tractor original and correct but I want to get it running in the meantime so we're gonna put a Chinese one on it for now and they do work I have a few tractors running them no issues so far that I'm also going to convert it in the meantime to a rubber hose and we'll throw a fuel filter in it as well 
just to get it running. I want to test it out, see if we got any other bugs. So, got a whole load of parts to throw at it, so let's get to it. So, first things first, let's get to pulling the uh, carburetor off and just start pulling parts, I suppose. Let's start the fuel line. It looks like it could be in the way. I also have been thinking about it and I'm considering restoring this tractor. It's been brush painted the last time it was done, so it's not perfect. And it, it looks halfway decent from standing a few feet away from it, but I want to get it nice. It deserves to be a nice tractor. Seven sixteenths. Thought so. And this will also allow us to get a good look inside of the engine or in the intake, anyways. See if we got any issues going on in there. There right. Try not to lose any parts here. One carburetor. And it doesn't look pretty in there. Smooth's good. So I'll go ahead and pull this tank off while we're at it. Somebody ran the wire right through there, so we'll just take this off. One gas tank coming up. So up on the workbench here, you have to uh, put a little barb fitting on it. I actually need a barb for that as well. And then the nipple on the tank has to get Teflon taped. So we got another for that too. So hopefully after we do all this work, we'll be able to uh, maybe get it running. Wrapper two on there. Or anything too crazy. Do the tank over here. All right, 
You know, make sure nothing's overhanging that. Thread that in there. I believe we got to be forward on it. Trim that tab if I need to. That should be set. And then we gotta put that one in there. that great tanks you can see it let's see if we get one more turn on that there that sit on the tank and we'll have the carburetor somewhere over there Put a little short hose in there and hopefully slip a little fuel filter in there as well so remember the tank from before this is the new one definitely quite a bit cleaner inside so we're going to start on the carburetor give us a little bit more room and then we'll do the fuel tank afterwards i think we should be just fine so i don't remember this what hole this one came out of, so. Actually, I guess whatever one will fit. I guess there's three different sizes on there. It's also a little rusty. Not don't like that one. I'm gonna have to drill a couple of these out. All right, drill those out a little bit. Yeah, I like the middle hole the best, I think. So we're gonna go for that. This part's a little easier on the bigger engines. The carburetors give a little more uh, room to move. She's going, here we go. Get those snug by a screwdriver and then come back in with the uh, 716th and snug her up. So now we need a gas tank. 
All right, I got a fill tank back in the action here. the other side feels good on there so next thing we got to do we need fuel line definitely not gonna need much for this so I'd say a couple inch piece here and a little bit more I can always cut it off right filter put the bottom on Like I said, this is only temporary. We got something like that just for now. I'm gonna go put a couple fuel clamps on it real quick. Some screw type ones for the filter it doesn't quite fit in there snug so I want to make sure we get a good seal I like to not pour gasoline everywhere All right, so not the prettiest, but we do have a fuel system now. So now would be an appropriate time to throw gas in it and see what she'll do. Cross my fingers that she will maybe run. Oh, she gassed up. Let's turn this on. Yeah, I guess we're already flowing. All right. Well, I don't see any leaks. Let's open that up all the way. And give it a minute to fill the float bowl and we'll try some pulling on it. Nothing just yet. I'm gonna try going back to the belt and pulley.
after that last clip there, I continued to keep trying it. Even made a little jig, so I have a little handle to hang on to, and then the drill with a pulley. A little bent from pulling on it. I was putting uh, gas down the cylinder again, putting a plug in it, and I was continuously seeing spark. So that means we should have spark on it. And I was getting a little smoke out of here, but not. I wasn't getting like a solid hit. So I'm starting to lean towards um, a head gasket issue. So possibly low compression. Although it feels like it has plenty of compression. I'm having, I'm having a real hard time getting it to spin over. But I do have another head gasket sitting here for a 161 or 181. So it might just be worth taking the head off, taking a peek in there. Uh, before I do that, I have to find my compression tester just to see where we're at for compression. But I want to start getting this video out to you guys. So this will be part one of the original getting it going and future restoration. So I was really hoping after I got the new carburetor on it and the fuel bowl and all that, I was hoping we'd get something out of it more than the starting fluid, but it appears not. So a little disappointed, was hoping for a better turnout. But we'll just have to continue along on part two. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. At least you get to see a new tractor I got. At the very least. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me see what you guys like and to make more videos on that stuff. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It helps out my channel. And the more we grow, the more tractors you guys will get to see. And the more of these old Cub Cadets we can bring back to life. So that's all for part one. Stay tuned for part two, which will probably be in the next couple weeks. So we'll see you in that one.